What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So I've done a lot of these videos where we go over to confirm the drops that we have for the items that was re-implemented in this patch. Uh, these items once got removed with the expansion Cataclysm. They're now back and some people, well, a lot of people are selling them for big gold. So in today's video, we're doing the entire soul in the Terrestrial Glades and all the items that has been confirmed so far, not including rare elites. Uh, but all of these items and every single other item that either I've found or someone in my community is put in the spreadsheet that you'll find in the zero to 10 million gold guide. So if you already have the book, which I know a lot of you guys do, make sure to check out the last uh, the last page in the guide and you'll find the, the spreadsheet, which gets constantly updated. And if you don't have it, you can consider picking it up by using the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT for 50% off. And that guide will be linked in the description down below. So starting at the, the Venom Web Veil, right under under Scarlet Monastery, and uh, we'll find uh, three different items. So the first two items are these uh, bad boys right here, the webbed cloak, but also the spider web robe. Both of these uh, bad boys drops from the spiders named the Vicious Night Web Spider. And there's a ton of them around the trees and up in the, the hills. And they do hyper spawn. You just got to make sure that you kill every single one of them and they will spawn really damn well. Next up, like right north of the, the spiders, you'll find these ravenous dark counts. And they also drop a new item. They drop these boots right here, the gray fur boots. Uh, so don't mind the, the price over here. Like it's because they used to be removed from the game and now they're back. So a lot of these items have a super high market value. Uh, it's absolutely insane. So if we want to continue into Tristful Glades and look for even more items, we have to fly up north and uh, we can start by going to this tower. Like if you like to do it in like a, uh, like a route where we want to get all the items because all these items are easily obtainable even when farming solo. But if we go over to the Scarlet Watch post, you have all of these Scarlet uh, mobs right here. And from these uh, bad boys right here, you can get yourself uh, the uh, like the Scarlet Bodyguard is the name of the, the mob that drops it. At least uh, that's where uh, Grand got the item. And the item we're looking for is the standard issue shield. Actually, a really cool item. I didn't know about this item when I tested it on the PTR, nor when the patch went live. So big thanks to Grand for letting me know about this one. I can definitely see this one uh, selling for a decent amount of gold, even though it has a shared appearance with another shield, which is uh, BOE, a, a blue one. Uh, but this one, absolute great item. And we don't have to travel far to find uh, the next items, because if we go straight down on the beach right here, and you, by the way, you have to make sure that you're in the old hills, uh, old Tristful Glades. Like if the entire area right here, including Undercity, is on fire, you need to talk to the NPC down here, Sidormi, and she will face you back in time. Uh, you'll find a bunch of these vile fin murlocs on uh, alongside the entire beach, but especially in this east corner, like between these rocks, like these guys hyper spawn pretty damn well. So you can find yourself sitting in here and just constantly killing these mobs over and over again. And you would do so because they drop uh, the vile fin battle axe from the muck dwellers. And then you have uh, the casters, the oracle mobs dropping the vile fin oracle staff. So uh, as I said, just uh, go under those rocks and uh, try to hyper spawn them. And now you'll see the, the burning... Uh, the burning right here on the map so uh you can still kill the, these mobs on the beach even though you're in the the wrong phase but the mobs will be of higher level but they still drop the uh, the exact same item it's just if you're bringing a guildy or a friend and you're on two different phases it's not going to be optimal uh, and uh when you're farming it if you're farming it on the speed set tune you won't one hit the mobs but they still die with like two swipes uh, but you might as well just be um like on the uh the actual the classic face of it for an easier time killing them and hyper spawning them and then we need to uh, fly all the way down to the uh the undead starting zone death knell where we have an additional two items to look for now the first um 
item that we want to talk about is uh, the the webbed pants. These bad boys right here, they drop inside uh, the cave from even more spiders. Like this cave uh, right here, the, the night web hollow. There's a bunch of spiders. They have a chance of dropping the pants. And then if we go to the Rot Brain Encampment, these guys, they spawn really fast because it's a starting zone. Blister, they don't want people to wait for mobs when they when they quest. So these guys spawn insanely fast. It's uh, actually wild. And they drop a really cool sword. They drop this one right here, the Tarnished Bastard Sword from these mobs. So there's a lot of items in this zone as well. And uh, there's some items in the zone that used to drop, but the, the mobs have been removed from the game. So I'm guessing that Blizzard just took those uh, exact same items and just added them to a different loot table of other mobs. It's just got to figure out which mobs that is, right? And then there's also some rare elites, but uh, more on that to come. So make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and that way you'll get notified whenever the next video goes up. If you don't want to wait for that, you can always consider uh, checking out the spreadsheet in the Zero to 10 million gold guide. Or even if you have the gold guide, you could also consider signing up to the VIP Discord, which is pretty much just like a Patreon, but everything happens on a Discord server. It's just easier that way. And you'll get access to all my YouTube videos before they go public on YouTube. And you also get exclusive gold making tips, spreadsheets, investments, and much more. But that's all linked down below in the description. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.